In this video, we'll examine some of the basics of GeoGebra. Now, I just opened up GeoGebra, and this is GeoGebra 4.4. And when you first open it up, uh, you probably will see a, the coordinate plane or the axes on your page. If you don't need that or you don't want that, if you look right here, there's the word graphics, and it has a little drop down. And right now you can see that I have the option to show or hide by just clicking. And I can also show a grid which shows the exact locations of each of the whole number, I mean, or the integer ordered pairs. So that can be very helpful, depending on what you're doing. If I look here, this first one, the arrow, allows me to click and drag different objects as we create them. And there's other options here that we don't use very often, the moving around a pointer according to spreadsheet. The next one is information about points and different things that we can do to construct points. Uh, the next one deals with lines and line segments and rays. Then we have options of how we can do special relationships between lines and angles. Next we can create different types of polygons. Next is information about circles and different constructions of circles. Then we have our conic sections. Then we can have some information about how we can create angles and do different things like slope and area. Here's our transformations. Then we can insert text images. We can even do some freehand writing. The sliders can be a helpful tool depending on what you need to do. And then the option of zooming in, zooming out, and shifting our actual graph. At the top, we have file, which will allow us to save, make new windows, and anything we may need to, as well as export our graphics if we had to. Edit just the basics that we have with edit a view <clears throat> you have a couple different ways we can view but most of the time we're going to stay in the algebra view and we want to make sure the input bar is checked that's down here at the bottom because we can input functions that can show up on our graphs with options we want to keep it right now for what we're doing algebra uh, the descriptions as value if we're using the grid and we want to be able to go to integer value coordinate pairs we want to snap to the grid and that'll be very helpful but right now it's just automatic rounding we can change that so that when we are measuring in GeoGebra we can change how many decimal places we want we can label objects right now it's set to automatic so it'll label as we create we can change the font size as well as the language within our tools you can create tools, and we probably won't do much of that, but there is an option to be able to do that if you want. And then there's always the help tool to help you out if you need it. Now just to show you some basics, if I click on point, I literally click on the square that I want. It'll highlight typically, it'll show you the picture of which of these you're using. So 0A means I'm creating a point. So if I lay, click a point, I just click on my screen, and it creates points. Now one of the things in GeoGebra to notice is in the left hand by having that algebra view it's going to tell me the point as well as where it is on the graph. So if I actually showed, I'll go back to my pointer here, my axis, this is representing where they are in the coordinate plane. And as I click and drag you can see that my ordered pair changes and goes to where exactly that point is. I could always create a line, click and click two points, and you see that it creates the equation of a line in standard form. Now I can put points directly on that line too, and one of the interesting things by doing so, I just click to put a point, I want to turn on my arrow tool, point H is now bound on that line. No matter what it does, it has to stay on that line. I cannot drag it off. See, I can move my hand up here, it doesn't do anything. Whereas point D, I can move anywhere. So there's some neat features with that aspect. And each of these tools does something that can be helpful with us in geometry. So it's going to be a matter of taking time to play with them and try each of them out. 